Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Just looking at this first time, yes. I just, uh, I just put a document on my drive. Yeah. That I think I'm going to want to research quite a bit because they have a writ to seratory in the United States Supreme Court. <laughs> they call it SCOTUS, S-C-O-T-U-S. Mm -hmm. You remember Justice Ginsburg, she had her acronyms? Yes. How are the SCOTUS of the United States? Because you know how much I dislike acronyms? Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you find me all the S-C-O-T-U-S on every web page? <laughs> You know, the acronym family, yes, mm -hmm. turn the su Supreme Court of the United States into an acronym. <laughs> now, um, this was Elijah Manuel versus the city of Joliet, Illinois. Yes. And uh, it looks like somebody arrested him. Yes. Because it says here, question presented. Okay, and this is like one of these territories. Yes. Whether I, Paul C. Budnick, may bring a Fourth Amendment claim persuading to 42 U.S. Code 1983, <laughs> seeking an immense amount of damages from all relevant government actors <laughs> for their allowing of pretrial detention persuading to the criminal... <laughs> Where no probable cause existed, yes, <laughs> because the criminal charge was predicated on deliberately fabricated evidence. <laughs> now, SCOTUS, <laughs> I dislike you using acronyms, okay? <laughs> so, get me the SCOTUS, okay? <laughs> and then from now on, we will, we will spell the Supreme Court of the United States. We no longer use acronyms in the Supreme Court of the United States. <laughs> it seemed that we're a little too busy in the Supreme Court yeah. <laughs> to not use acronyms. <clears throat> when you could spell it, Supreme Court of the United States. <laughs> You know, every time I see an acronym that describes the United States of America, it gets me upset. <laughs> now you're saying, what about USA? <laughs> really? <laughs> Why don't we spell it United States with a little O-F of America? <laughs> you know, eventually I'm going to outlaw all acronyms. <laughs>